Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Before we jump too far in, can we just have a moment of appreciation for these nails? They are gorgeous. These are my cute little Christmas nails and they match my sweater along with my makeup look. Today, I'm gonna be doing my holiday 2022 Shop My Stash. So if you're interested in seeing which makeup I'm picking to use over the month of December and throughout the holiday season, then you are in the right place. Let's jump into it. My friends, it is that time again. Look how absolutely disgusting my everyday drawers are looking right now. So let's go ahead, pull all this out, and then we'll go through it together, pick out some new stuff. It'll be a great time. We're going to start with palettes per normal, just because this is what typically accumulates. I also have some that were sitting on the top part of the drawers as well. So we're gonna go through all these together. Let's just dive in. First up, we have Nomad Haunted Europe. Very beautiful palette. This was in my A to Z project pan, but I've hit my goal, so we're gonna set that aside. Same with my Marc Jacobs Terrific palette. This one I'm also gonna put away. I don't like this palette in the slightest, but I've hit my goals for this one, so this one is also gonna be going away. Soft Glam has surprisingly been one of those that I still like to reach for. This is one of my older palettes and more loved palettes, and I still like to reach for this. So honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this in for now. The Strawberry Dreams palette, now that we're wrapping up some of my panning projects for the year, I am actually going to set this one aside. This one was in my Project Pan Those Eyeshadows, however, the shade Blue Sky, I have not made that much progress on and it doesn't really excite me. So we're just gonna set that aside, especially because we're winding down on panning projects anyway. Spoiler alert, if you are doing the Lunar Beauty Advent Calendar, I am currently halfway through. This is what mine is looking like so far. I am gonna leave this in because I have been actively doing the Advent Calendar and I think it's really fun. So this is staying. The ColourPop Hello Hollywood palette. This is in collaboration with Jasmine Chiswell. This I'm going to set aside. You are going to see this in some later videos this month. I'm doing some rankings and all sorts of fun stuff. So this is going to be used in one of those videos, but I'm not going to be using it in my everyday currently. I have two Odin's Eye Christmas palettes. We have the Merry Christmas palette, which is gorgeous. I think this is my favorite of the two. This one is for sure staying. As you can see, I've gotten lots of use out of it so far. Same with the Christmas Eve palette. I just really like these palettes, so I'm gonna be keeping both of these in my current rotation. I have the Ice Crusher by Jeffree Star. This is a highlighter palette, or I guess he calls it the Skin Frost Pro palette. I am going to keep this in. I've been using these top shades, mostly these two, but occasionally this one as well. So I'm going to leave this in as well as my highlighter choice for the month. The Nomad Hudson Valley. I loved this palette. I still do. I mean, you can see how much I've used it. Some of these shades over here, my current everyday go-to look is this in the crease, this in the very outer corner, and this on the lid. And it's the most beautiful cool tone eye. I also really like some of these warm tones, but it is just not the vibe right now. I'm gravitating more towards those like jewel tones and really bright cool tone looks. Luminous and Sir John Lion King palette. This is my current A to Z rotation and we're working on the shade King. So of course this is staying. You can't not have it in the rotation if you're actively working on it. I pulled this one out. I think the last shot my stash. This is the ColourPop and Nightmare Before Christmas palette and I've been doing these every other month. So the last one should have been around Halloween, but I have not used this. I am very intrigued. I want to do a look using these berry tones and then also one of the shades from my Odin's Eye palette, this pink shade right here. I feel like that would be really pretty. So I am going to leave it in for now and I will update you guys next time on how that goes. Kylie Nice, this is also in my A to Z project pan, so this is staying in. My Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light Palette, I think they've rebranded to KVD. I'm not sure if they still say Kat Von D or KVD at the top. Mine is fairly old though. I do like this one. I've been reaching for it a lot for this shade in particular. Uh, I think I'm actually going to put this back for now because I have been working on a cream contour instead. We have the Melt Blueprint palette. I had high hopes of using this. I started the project level up over the summer thinking that I would be able to handle a third panning project. Spoiler alert, I was not able to, but I've been so close to hitting pan and beaming, I feel like, that I haven't wanted to put it back. 
I haven't decided if I want to try and hit pan and beaming before the end of the year. I think I might, so I'm going to leave this in my drawer still. The Milk Cosmetics Amori Mariposas palette. This one has been in my project Pan Those Eyeshadows for the longest time. We've been working on Nueva Vida. However, like I said, we are winding down in some of those projects, and I just don't feel like it's necessary to keep this in because I know I'm not going to hit pan before the end of the year. And I quite frankly just hate how much space this palette takes up. So I will leave it on my desk just set to the side, kind of like the Strawberry Dreams palette. But I'm not going to leave it in my everyday drawer because it's just taking up so much space. And I only have like two more weeks in December anyway. ColourPop, that's taupe. This has been a go-to for me for the past month or so. I am debating. I'm on the fence about this one. I think I'm going to set this in like a maybe pile right now just to see. I also have the ABH Amrezy palette. This is in my pan those eyeshadows currently and I do think I'm going to leave this one in for now because I am working on Barb but I do like a lot of these shades like some of these deeper ones. We have my current singles palette. There's lots of fun stuff in here. We have stuff from the Zodiac palette with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, the Child palette, these are from the All Amethyst, I think these are from the Sunflower palette, I can't remember what it's called, like Little Ray of Sunshine, these two are from Midnight Masquerade, and this one I think is from the Enchanted palette by ColourPop. I am going to leave this in. This is where I like to keep all of my ColourPop singles that I'm working on for different projects so that way it's consolidated and doesn't take up space. We have my Too Faced Gingerbread palette. If you guys have watched any of my shop my stashes, you know I have been trying to finish up the shade right here. This is Powdered Sugar. We are down to like the final third of this shade and I'm very excited. I don't think we'll finish it by the end of the year but I do think I could finish it pretty early on next year so this is staying in until I finish that shadow we have my melt amori mariposas blush palette this has been a go-to for me recently as well I'm gonna leave this in as my blush option I have really dug into these top two shades so this one is staying I'm gonna quick step over here because I have all of my palettes on the floor and <laughs> Bruce is licking them all I've been setting aside palettes to do my big end of the year palette ranking and he's chewing on boxes so if you hear that that's probably what's going on this is the banana fetish palette by JSC and I quite enjoyed this palette I think I think I'm gonna put this one back for now. I wanted to kind of get a head start on Never Bitter because I was planning on rolling this into my A to Z project pan for letter N, but the fact of the matter is, is I don't think I've reached for it since I pulled it in, so I think for now I'm gonna just set this aside. And then last but not least, we have the ABH Riviera palette. This one is also in my current A to Z project pan, so this is staying, of course. There is so much dog hair stuck to the bottom of this, so we're just gonna ignore that. And I'm gonna just pop some of these palettes back in so we can kind of see what we're working with space-wise. I think we narrowed it down pretty good. I'm pretty proud of how we got it. I think I am going to put That's Taupe back because I have used it a couple times, but I don't think I'm going to reach for it a ton more. And these four palettes I'm going to pop just in the top. Next drawer, we are going to be working on face products, our favorite category. This drawer always stresses me out so much. <laughs> So let's go ahead and dive right in. First up, we have the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Mine is in the shade Nude. I really like this powder. I found a girl on TikTok who I always forget her name, but I will link her down below. Um, and she uses this and she turned me on to this. So this is staying. I think I'm ready to put back my Rim Beauty blush stick. I have used it quite a bit in the past couple weeks, but I just want to try some other blushes in my collection. I have the Sigma and Alice in Wonderland blush duo or cheek duo. My bad. This is gorgeous. I really like Paint the Roses. It is such a pretty mauve blush. So this one is also staying in. I have a ton of bronzers in here and like contour products. So let me just pull out all of like the bronzers in here and we will sort through those. Okay, this is more bronzer than I need in my everyday drawer. So definitely want to keep my ABH contour stick. This is in the shade Fawn. And I love this one. When I was saying that there's a cream contour that I've been using, this is what I've been gravitating towards. So that's staying. I have my Rare Beauty bronzing stick. This is in the shade, if I can read it, Happy Soul. Uh, you'd think I'd 
was blind. I'm going to put back Happy Soul. I'm just not reaching for it. But I do want to leave in my NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. This is such a good bronzer. And I was just watching some best of 2022 videos. And a lot of people were mentioning this one. It is really one of the best products I've tried this year. And I'm obsessed. So I'm going to leave this in just to give it some extra use before the end of the year. I'm going to put back my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. This is gorgeous, but just not what I'm reaching for right now. I do have my Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade fair or one fair. I'm going to put this one back as well because I, like I said, I'm using the ABH stick. I have my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer as well. This is in two medium. I ended up going with like a slightly darker shade, but you can't really tell because it's so light anyway. This is so good. I am obsessed with this one. I'm on the fence about this. I also have the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. Um... I think I'm going to leave in the Charlotte Tilbury just because I feel like for winter I want not a huge bronze but more of like a natural bronze. So I'm leaving that in, getting rid of the Urban Decay. And now we have the remainder of cheek products. So I have this. This is from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2. This is the Soul Body Highlight in Find the Book. It's really cute. It has Binks on the front. And I'm going to put this one back. I pulled this one out in my last Shop My Stash for October because spooky kind of green reflect made me think of Halloween. It's just not the vibe right now. Nothing against it. I also have this from One Size Beauty. This is the Cheek Clapper in Firestarter. These are orangey blushes. Very beautiful, but again, just not what I'm reaching for right now. This one I was actually looking for the other day and I didn't realize it was in here. I was looking through my like main drawers for it. This is MAC Gingerly. It is such a pretty natural blush. I'm going to leave this one in. I think this is a great complement to some of the Amori Mary Posa blushes in the Melt palette. So I'm going to leave this one in. This one I'm going to put back. This is one that I was trying to finish up by the end of the year. This is the Super Shock blush in the shade Count Me In. Actually, no, I'm going to leave this in because I feel like... I'm going to put it back and then just forget about it and I know I'm going to want to hit pan on this eventually or like I've already hit major pan but finish it so I'm going to leave this in. I have these serum blushes from Colourpop. This one is Bubbles and this one is Natural World. Natural World I believe is from their holiday collection this year. I'm going to leave Natural World in because I think the purple's pretty but I'm going to put back Bubbles and then I'm also going to put back my MAC and Stranger Things blush in the shade He Likes It Cold. I feel like for Christmas especially, I like the idea of a red blush, but realistically, I don't think I'm going to wear a red blush. So let's go ahead and pop these guys back in here. Much better, easy to find stuff. As always, we're not really going to touch on my lip drawer. I might do something with this for my first shot my stash next year, just as a big like start to the year. But these are pretty much, the majority are like Jeffree Star lip products. I also have some Fenty. I have Dose of Colors. These are Nomad glosses. We have Kylie Sigma. There's just a little bit of everything in here and we don't like to touch this. And now it is time for the giant top of my drawer. So my mirror, of course, this I used to do like my eyeliner, my lashes because I'm literally blind. This is an empty. I was waiting to film this to show you guys. There's a little teeny tiny bit in there, but there's no way I'm going to get that out. So empty, adding that to my empties for the year. I currently have my Jeffree Star Wedding Proof Setting Spray, Setting Mist, Setting Spray. This one, when I got it, it was leaking. I don't know if you can see that on there, that it's kind of like sticky. That is the main reason why it is up here because I don't want it getting sticky all over everything else in my drawers. I also have my Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. I'm trying to finish this one up because I have a second one as well. So that is staying. My Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. If you can tell, we are about halfway through this. This is in the shade 14W. And this one, the cap is broken. So I like to keep it up here as well so I can finish it. I also have this primer. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'm actually going to put this back because I'm still trying to finish up this one. The Professional Hydrating. This is just not the vibe, but I am determined to finish it and add it to my empties for the year. So I'm going to keep that in. I also recently added my NYX Glitter Primer. I have two of these and I've really liked using these for my shimmers. So I'm going to leave that in as well. We have this Matte White Liquid Shadow by Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Star Wedding. I have been using this in my everyday makeup looks a ton. 
So I'm going to leave that in. Same with ColourPop Tassel. This is just a super shock that I figured I would try and maybe pan. I'm not really sure. These three I'm going to put back. These are from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 collection. They are just some Jelly Mutt shadows. And then I also have this super shock. I pulled these out for Halloween, but I am no longer feeling these shades because they are not really wintry shades. I also have my ABH Brow Freeze. This one, I, I don't know if my eyebrows are just resistant to like gel products, but I feel like I can't figure out how to do like the laminated brows. Like my brows just don't stay up. So I'm going to leave this in. I'm still determined to try and figure something out about that. We have lots of liners and lip products up here. We have this is the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Worthy. I'm going to keep that in. We have some brow products, some eyeliners. Oh, I do, do we really want to go through all of this? Here are my mascara choices. We have Urban Decay Perversion, Bad Gal Bang Waterproof, and then this one is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 BFF Liner in the shade Butcherson. I'm actually going to put this back, keep these two. I'm almost out of both of these, so it would be good to possibly have some more empties. These are my crazy eyeliners. We have the KVD Tattoo Liner, Rem Beauty, Fenty Beauty, a couple of MAC ones. The MAC Brush Stroke Liners are literally my holy grails. Um, i trying to see. This is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Liner. All of those are going to stay. We have this red liner from the Hocus Pocus collection last year. This is the shade Lucky Rat Tail, keeping that. And then these are just some brow products. We have some Benefit, some NYX, MAC, and then this little ColourPop brow gel. Pretty self-explanatory. I feel like these are tedious to constantly go through. And last but not least, we have some lipstick. I feel like my fingers are really swollen just because it's like that weird winter time. I have this one from the Beetlejuice and Melt collection. I'm gonna put this back, I'm just not using it at the moment. This one is a black sparkly gloss from Hocus Pocus 2 in ColourPop, putting that back. This is one of my favorites right now. This is from Becca, and I know Becca isn't really a thing anymore, but I got this, I think, in gratis when I worked at Ulta, and I really like it. I also have my two Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talks. We have medium and regular, so I'm keeping those in. I just think these look so perfect up here. This is Yash from MAC. I really like this one. It's just a really nice matte lipstick. I'm gonna keep that in. I might actually rearrange some stuff. This is... Sarah from ColourPop and Hocus Pocus, the original. I'm gonna keep this in, it's been one of my favorite reds. I've also been going for Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo K. This is from MAC and Aladdin, the shade Raja, very pretty, that can stay. What else do we have in here? We have Trench Coat by Jeffree Star. Um, I think I'm gonna put this back. I'm just not really wearing really dark lipstick at the moment. I like to mix these two a lot. It was a really pretty lip combo. And then this one is the shade Chocolate Fondue. And it's just a really pretty brown. And I like to wear this with like a brown gloss over it. So I'll probably leave that up here. Before I put everything back that we took out, I do want to do a quick browse. I have been thinking about this one a lot. This is the Odin's Eye Highlighter in the shade Azura, Azura Shine. This is gorgeous, let me tell you. This is like a really pretty white with like a purple reflect. I want to pull this one out. It reminds me a lot of actually my whatever this is. This is like the Supreme Frost from Jeffree Star. I can't even open it with one hand, so we're not going to even try. I'm trying to think of what else I have in here. This one is a constant go-to. This is Lightscapade by MAC. I went to a pro class and I have been hooked on this one literally ever since. So I've been using this one as like my daily go-to highlighter for like three or four years and I don't even keep it in my everyday drawer. So we should. I'm trying to see what else we have in here. This one's really pretty. This one I have been trying to hit pan on for a little while, but I've been doing it kind of leisurely. I'm not sure if I want to do this one or Lightscapade. I think I might actually do the Fenty just because this does have the natural side lightning dust. And Lightscapade I normally reach for, so this one is one I haven't reached for as recently. I think that should be all for highlighters. Bronzers, I have 
nothing in here that I feel like I absolutely need. I do really like this one. I've pulled this one out before. This is the Fenty Chocolate Swiller Bronzer from this year. I completely forgot about this. In fact, I think I'm actually going to put this in my favorites for the year because I loved this bronzer. Can you see me struggling? This one is so pretty. It's like just a shimmery bronzer and I really like it. I think I'm going to grab this one as well. But I think that should be all. I also keep like super shock blushes in here. But none of these really stand out to me. Everything else in here. Oh, Marc Jacobs bronzer. This was probably the saddest thing. Was when Marc Jacobs dissolved. And now you can't get the Omega bronzer. Because this was like literally my stuff. I love this. This was so pretty. Also they discontinued the Dior powder no powder. And I'm just kind of personally offended by that. I have lots of blushes in here. The one that I was thinking possibly was Flirt Alert by ColourPop. I'm not sure. Uh, and then I have like all of my blush palettes back here as well. Blush sticks. I'm trying to decide. I thinking about maybe my Odin's Eye blush as well. This is peachy, but I also have Gingerly still. I might hold off on blushes. I feel like sometimes if there's a look and I want a certain type of blush shade, then I'll reach in here for one, but I don't feel like I need to grab one right now. And the last thing I want to do before we go too far, ignore how messy these palette drawers are because I've been reaching in for, you know, trying to do my end of the year roundup and I've been pulling things out and moving things around. I'm trying to see if there's any palettes that I might want to pull out. I don't think there's anything in particular. There's this one from ColourPop and Target that I got that I haven't tried yet. So I might pull this out, but I think I'm going to leave everything else because like I said, we are rounding down the year and I'm really trying to focus on some of my current panning projects. I have been dying to pull out my ColourPop Play Jewel palette. So I think this is going to be our pick. It is definitely going to take up a ton of space in my drawer, but it is stunning and I think I will get a lot of use out of it. I do want to pull out some lip products real quick. I feel like pulling out like a true red lipstick. I'm trying to decide which one I want. I feel like that might be our closest option. Sorry, Bruce is throwing his ball underneath. He's very excited, if you could not tell. There's one from like the Mac and Patrick Star collection a couple years ago. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Slay Ride by Mac and Patrick Star. This is what I want. I just needed a true red. I feel like with Christmas, it's just the vibe. And then maybe just for funsies, I'll pull out one of these glosses. This is the Hocus Pocus ColourPop 2 in the shade Sisters Behold. It's just like a white shimmer. I feel like a white shimmer over like a true red lip would look stunning. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little shop my stash i know it was a pretty quick one compared to some of the ones we've had in the past but let me know what you guys are using throughout the holiday season i would love to know what everybody is reaching for and with that i will see you guys all in the next one bye friends